Hello, Hello darlings. darlings! Tonight we are sleeping in a tiny cabin near a field of colorful wildflowers. It's so romantic and painterly. This tiny cabin is located amongst the trees on Bainbridge Island. It was August when we filmed this video. The road leading to the cabin is lined with seemingly never-ending rows of tall trees. You turn into a smaller road and go straight. Now this on the left is the neighbor's property, so don't turn into that path. Go straight, straight, keep going straight. Eventually, you'll emerge out of the tree's shadows into an open field and see a wooden house. That's where the Airbnb host lives. Keep going down the path on the right for the tiny cabin. Follow the sign that says, Island Jungalow. We're approaching the jungalow. You can park your car right in front of the cabin. There's also a fire pit. Feel free to lounge on the two chairs and look towards the field of wildflowers. Uh, there is a wooden table. You have a golden kangaroo with a small vase. Usually this is like an indoor decor, so this is really interesting how they put it on the outside instead. We got another vase with flowers. That must be from their field. Alrighty, let's head into the tiny cabin and dissect the details. Heads up, there's no lock from the outside, but you can lock it from the inside. I love how the wooden outlines on the walls wrap into the hexagonal ceiling. We got a little bookshelf up there, a narrow window. The window on the other side is much wider, and you really, you know, this helps you feel like you're part of nature. And this is facing the more private area. Now the front, we do have this cloth, and that gives you privacy. While there's no shower nor sink, the host prepared a drinking water. Oh, what is inside there? The nightstand. Oh, we have some dishes. So we don't have a kitchen. However, they do provide dishes. Oh, oh it's a kettle? Oh, okay. They also provide a portable stove. And then uh, we also have a pot. And the candle. Light bulbs. Spatula and spoon. I want to say this is a full-size bed. And above it, there is a painting of palm trees and uh, it looks like a river and some mountains. In the corner, we have a heater. And in the other corner, it must be the trash can. And the chair seems to be vintage. Absolutely adore that design. Fan is also vintage. This looks vintage. I mean, we, there's a lot of things that look vintage, right? I think the handles are vintage too. What's in this cupboard? Cups, bottle opener, and more flashlights. And the hand sanitizers. Herbal tea and, oh, they're both herbal tea. On the door, we have a broom. It's a really nice looking broom. I like the shapes of that right here. And the flashlight. What? <laughs> Where'd you get the axe from? <laughs> To protect you and me. <laughs> I'm gonna keep you. <laughs> he was over here. Where? Yeah. Oh, oh wow. But it's so heavy. Alright, on the patio, there is a... Uh, what is that? Is that a cooler? On the left should be the bathroom. You see we have a little pathway. Here is the loo. I guess you could think of this as like glamping. It's a composting toilet. There you go. I like this light. <laughs> Look at these lights. <laughs> these are the toilet lights. That's pretty awesome. Oh, that makes me excited to use a toilet. So cute. On the left of the loo, we have a little path. Yeah, the, the other way. Oh, there's another way in? Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alrighty. Now we're on the other side of the tiny cabin, so two paths lead to the hammock. Just a few steps from the cabin, there is another path which leads to a shelf of wood. $10 per day for unlimited wood. What happens when we venture further? Walk past the blackberry bushes and discover a clawfoot tub. For warm water, heat with fire. To fill the bathtub, follow the hose for the spigot. Ooh, lots of blackberries. You can pick on the blackberries as you take your bath. 
A few steps from the tub is the colorful field of wildflowers. Ah, it's dreamy, like an impressionist painting, and I cannot get enough. This place is tickling my soft spot for cottage core. On the property is a public trail. Oh, that's Sir Henry. He is a protector because there are cougars and bears here, but he scared them off by barking at them. <laughs> Mommy just found a bunch of polypores. Look at that oh, extended family of them. Wow. <laughs> we got polypores here and I've never seen so many of them stacked up like that. So awesome. Oh, I bet this trail is filled with many mushrooms in autumn. So we were talking with the Airbnb host and uh, just a couple weeks ago he got married on his property. So that's why we have some of these uh, decor. Mamio's playing with Sir Henry. <laughs> it's the first time we're going to be trying this uh, loo. Even with the lights on, it's a little dark in here so we're going to bring an extra lamp. Okay, good luck with your business. As dinner time approaches, let's head downtown. About a five minute drive away, we dive into taro egg rolls and a bunch of other goodies. I'm making another video fully dedicated to adventuring around Bainbridge Island. It'll take a while to edit, but stay tuned for it because I'm gonna release it soon. Okay, now let's go back to the tiny cabin. It's about uh, 7.30, or no, 9.30 p.m. We're gonna have to go to bed soon because the light will seep in in the morning. And some people can sleep in through the light, but I'm not one of those people. No blackout curtains, which means you feel the nature more. You act according with uh, the celestial objects. I brought a battery pack here, but they do have outlets. Lots of holes for ya. All right, let's escort mommy over to the loo. Wait. You gonna leave me out here? If I'm honest, I'll be kind of scared to use this bathroom at night by myself. I I did a good deed. This thing reminds me of some things you give to animals, like put in their cage. And you sprinkle it on. Porta potties like honey buckets can smell real bad, but this one smells nice and fresh. So there's no shower here, but you can take a bath. If you want to take a bath here though, you're going to have to plan in advance. Uh, it's, I think it was. Uh, it takes about one hour to heat and fill up. If you want to make the water warm, you have to um, make like a fire under it and feed it with w uh, wood. So let's say you get back here when it's really dark, like right now. What do you do? You need to shower. You need to, you know, like clean yourself up. So I'm going to share with you what we did. These things I got. Uh, it's the same things I did when I went dry camping last month. So I use this for my makeup wipe. And then I will clean my face, like wash my face with this. And this was the body. Actually, when I went dry camping, I just used this for my body as well. And these are thicker than these baby wipes. Uh, there's an invisible bed frame right here. Just imagine it. <laughs> When I was pointing my camera at Mommy O, the camera was telling me I'm in infant mode. What is <laughs> Cause you're like bundled up. It is 1040. Oh now it's twinkling! Twinkling mode. Ooh, that one's like dimming. Dimming on and off. Oh it's, it's whoa. Good night, people. That's all, folks, for tonight. I want to mention something. Do you notice that? It's really quiet. So I do have one concern. I drink a lot of water tonight um, at the bar. So hopefully I don't wake up in the middle of the night and have to use the restroom. So I think you got to be a little strategic. Uh, don't drink too much water at night when you stay here. Good morning. Last night, it was so quiet that when I had my head on the pillow with one side, I was able to hear my heart beating through my ear. 
So then I put earplugs in and then it kind of like dulled that uh, heartbeat sound in my ear. <laughs> but that's how quiet it was. Mommy always doing her makeup. There's no mirror in here. However, she brought her own handheld mirror <laughs> and hung up the light. Makeup symmetrical. Mm, I think it's good enough. <laughs> that was like a weird hiccup. We're also heating up some warm water. Thanks, Mommy O, for making tea. We're having the one in the cabinet. Herbal tea, exotic me. And now it's time to journal. Checkout time is 11 a.m. and it is just shy of 9. Uh, however, we gotta get the day started, check out some eating spots, nature spots, all kinds of spots, and then head on home. We don't wanna get home too late, so we're gonna start the day off early. It was such a quiet and nice day, and you also hear the rooster next door, you know, the birds chirping, with the very quiet breezes passing by. Hope you enjoyed this video. There are a bunch of cool places in Washington State, and I can't wait to share more with you. We have four distinct seasons here, so depending on when you visit, your experience may be vastly different than what I show you. Ah, remember that colorful field of wildflowers? The moment I saw that field, I really wanted to paint it, but I didn't bring my art supplies with me. I like to pack as light as possible when traveling. And also, I didn't make travel-friendly versions of some of my art supplies yet. Now we're home and I want to dive back into those colors and paint with gouache. On the left page, I sample custom-made colors before using them on the painting. Can you spot the person becoming one with a field of flowers? Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell! For food and travel in Korea, check out my other channel, Sweet and Tasty TV. Toodles, my noodles! Mommy O has a thing with trees growing out of trees. Like that tree. She's into it. I like the details on this nightstand. All these triangles, and some of them are gold, and they look like pinwheels. Okay, we have a game up there. Sipograms. Next to the colorful field are wine barrels. And on top of this is a sculpture and a vase with dried flowers. Very artistic. I want to draw it. So when you first look at the bed, you might think, oh, we're gonna sleep like this, because the bed is or the uh, pillow is oriented that way. However, we need to sleep parallel to the wall 